Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, you're right, this isn't a Florida video. I just sat down to edit and I, in my mind, thought I have maybe three or four Florida videos left. And I started editing and about five minutes into editing the footage, the next clip was me going, hey guys, I'm back in England. And I was like, what? <laughs> what? So, I'm trying to rack my brain and I'm like, I swear I filmed more than that. And then I'm like, well, maybe I didn't. Because I knew that I didn't film as much as I'd initially planned to. Initially, I was like, I'm going to film like 14 videos. And then when I was there, I was like, no, I actually want a holiday. I want to rest. And Keegan was like, yeah, don't vlog all the time. Just rest. So I was aware that I, I stopped vlogging at, you know, towards the final days. But not that soon. So, yeah. I mean, I don't regret it. I'm glad I had a little break and a holiday because that was never... The goal was to go and film videos in Florida. It just, you know, I, it just comes as a second nature to me. I, I like picking up the camera and filming. So anyway, so I do have five minutes of footage from when we went on a bike ride and we met Keegan's friend and his daughter for lunch. So I'll show you that. But yeah, it's not very much and I don't think it's that interesting, but I'll, I'll show you. Hi guys. Um, today we're going to be, um, so Joel and um, Dad have gone on a walk, I think. I've gone to the gym, so I'm taking over. It's my channel now, so I'm going to be showing you everything. <laughs> We've come to celebration today for a bike ride, which is one of my favourite things to do. Uh, the weather's quite nice as well. It's a, it's a bit blue sky, but a little bit cloudy, so it's not too hot, which is good. But I'm hoping we'll see some alligators because the kids have only seen one so far, one tiny baby one. I would like us to see a bigger alligator, so I'm hoping to see one. You all right, babe? Did you just fall off the pavement? Yes. <laughs> Stop. Cam, no, no press. Please. No press, no press. Keep checking every lake by, you know, not just the water, but the banks where they sunbathe. Haven't seen any yet. But these houses, these are big. These aren't even the biggest celebration. That's on East Lawn Drive or East Lawn Terrace or something. But these are probably the second biggest. Look. Ridiculous. Who lives there? Well, we've seen one, guys. Here we go. This one's a bit bigger than the one we saw. Yeah, that one looks like far foot. Yeah. Four foot, five foot. The kids are thirsty, so we've stopped for a drink. I think we're about 20 minutes away from the town, um, and then we're meeting Keegan's friend for lunch. And I don't know where we're gonna eat in celebration. I've eaten, I think, every in every restaurant in celebration, and they're all pretty good. So, yeah, we'll see. finished the bike ride. I couldn't film much on the bike ride because I was holding a drink and the, the bike margarita. itself, a margarita. No, it was a Diet Coke. Uh, but we managed to see one alligator. We haven't seen any on the main lake yet, which is sad, but um, we might do before we leave. I once saw an alligator on these banks here eating a tortoise and the tortoise was flailing, flailing around and you heard it crunch through its shell, which wasn't very nice, but nature. You haven't seen any. The lady was saying that the tortoises are uh, egg laying season so she said we might see them burying their eggs in the sand yeah she was telling us how the crows come and hunt them down yeah it's sad nature is cruel isn't it well survival of the fittest yeah which is why we've survived over centuries oh i thought you meant us individually Me, yes that's why i survived um but we're just off for lunch now with keegan's friend I, i'm starving we haven't had breakfast today i think we're all hungry yeah, I thought Taylor was going to pass out on that bike ride. Right? I think she might. <laughs> right, we've all got ice creams. I've gone for a caramel pretzel twist, just to be different. coffee beans they're expensive but so good three flavors just a pack of coffee beans I'm addicted why are they so good hello everyone as you can see I'm back home uh, we arrived we landed from Florida yesterday oh let me see if I <sighs> 
Fletcher kept picking up the cameras to try and vlog while we were away. And like, he was like, oh, there's something on the lens and then got his thumb all on my lens. I was like, no, you should never touch a lens with your finger. That would just make it worse. Anyway, we're back. We landed yesterday at about half past noon. That's not a time. Uh, half past 12 in the afternoon. And we finally arrived back here after dropping the kids off and it was a three and a half hour drive, four with a break. So we didn't get back here until gone 5 p.m. We, we, had, we had visions of waking up early this morning at like 6 a.m. cracking on with, you know when you get that motivation after a holiday, you're like, I'm gonna be on it, everything's gonna be great. Well, we didn't get out of bed until half 10. So, <laughs> but we needed it because we feel very jet lagged. I feel very awake now though, and it is currently 12.30. So we're gonna have lunch. We actually food prepped last night. I was really proud of us last night because we got back, we unpacked three suitcases, because uh, we commandeered one of the kids' suitcases, put all their stuff in one. So we had, because we bought quite a lot of stuff out there. So unpacked all three suitcases. Uh, the house is nice and clean because the cleaner had been while we were away. And then we food prepped for this week for our lunches. So I'm about to show you that. And we have a recipe box arriving as well, which is very exciting. But yeah, we're gonna have lunch now, probably head to the gym. Amber, Keegan's sister, is arriving for a work thing with Keegan over the next couple of days. And she's bringing the dogs with her. So the dogs are returning. I've already got their bowls out ready, which I will show you over here. Their bowls are ready and waiting, which is so cute. I just need to get their water bowl out. And it is so sunny in England at the moment. Since we've been away, it's been apparently been like sunny and 20, 25 degrees every day, and it's still lovely weather. So that is really good. I've been watering all my plants um, and they have now perked up notably. They were looking very flat when I arrived. But anyway, due to our time in Florida, um, I knew that having spent lots of time in Florida, my favorite thing is a cob salad. And I know it's not necessarily a Floridian thing, but I only tend to have them in Florida. I just love them so much. Keegan has now been addicted to them. So we decided that why not for our lunches, do a cob salad. So last night we cooked chicken breast and some bacon, uh, boiled some eggs and chopped them up. That is blue cheese, Stilton. And then we've got our leaves, we've got cucumber, carrot and onion. Let me know down in the comments if you're a cob salad connoisseur and if we're missing anything. I feel like we're missing tomatoes and we're missing maybe radishes. Radishes would be nice. I think the joy of a chopped salad or a cob salad is you can put in anything you want. Um, but yeah, we're looking forward to that. We're gonna have lunch now and we've got some happy, healthy homo work to do. So we're gonna have basically a lunch meeting down here um, to discuss the next steps. Cause whilst we were away, the last episode of Happy Healthy Homo season one went out and we're now planning for season two and there's gonna be a big rebrand. There's gonna be more content coming, not just one episode per week. And now it's at the stage where we like, we've registered as a company, a limited company. If you're self-employed, you'll understand that lingo. If not, it's, don't worry, it's not necessary for you to understand. But we've set up as a company. Now I need to set up a bank account because it started to earn money. So, which is really, really good because it means that it will pay for itself. I mean, we're not earning a lot, but it's covering the studio costs, which is really, really good. So we just need to make sure everything's above board and by the law. So we need to set up a business banking account so that all the money can be paid into that. Um, but yeah, just some boring stuff really guys and getting back on track, getting back on track with brands that I'm working with. I've got some invoices to send. My manager, as I've arrived back from holiday, my social media manager, she's gone on holiday. <laughs> Once she's back, I think I might arrange to go meet them in person. Uh, Lauren and Bex are their names. So I might go and meet them in person because I've not met them yet. I've spoke to them via Zoom, but that's it. Maybe Mainly today is just getting on top of things and I cannot wait to see the dogs. Oh, and I need to sort out this. I got a speeding ticket. I was on a motorway. On a motorway, there's 70 miles an hour. I didn't see in time that it was going down to 40 miles per hour. Um, and so it caught me going through the camera at 44 in a 40, even though the motorway was empty. Not to make excuses, I should, you know, 44 is above the speed limit because it was 40 for that motorway. Um, however, Normally motorways are 70. It was like 11, half 11 at night. It was at 23, 27 and the motorway was empty. And I did get my speed down, but just not quite under 40. I got to 44, so that's annoying. So I've got to book a speed awareness course. Here we go. So I've done all the salad -y bits. Keegan's now chopping the bacon on. We just need to do the chicken and the Stilton. And that's our very own homemade Cobb salad. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's like we're in Florida still. Chicken looks a bit anemic. We it need a does knife. a bit. Oh yeah, oops. That was such a good salad, guys. Um, I am just tidying up, but it's one 
06 and there's a few properties on this auction website that have gone live for auction at one o'clock so I'm six minutes late but they'll be for auction for the next few days um, and I just want to keep a track of it I'm just having a look and just uh, seeing what they actually end up going for just as part of my research so as an update for that because I know that I took you on the journey with me back in January and February of property buying an investment property up north here um, but it's something I've been looking into for years and uh, it's something that I'm ready to pounce as soon as there's a viable property but here are a few this property is up for auction at the moment today um, Oh, I thought it said bidding opens on the 12th. Oh, not this one. Oh, wow. So this one started for, uh, I think, £5,000 or something. So I'm just interested to see what this goes for. Currently, it's at £14,000. Should I just place a bid just to... Let's do it. Oh, okay. Someone else has placed a reserve. So I placed a bid there for £15,000 got rejected because someone's put a reserve in and it's now at 16,000. I'm just doing this. I don't actually think I want this house. Um, I know that this house is going to go for in the region of 70k and above. So obviously I didn't just willy-nilly go, oh, 15,000 pounds. I, I know it's going to go for a lot more than that. But I'm just watching this because I just want to see, I've been authorized to bid on this website. You have to like put in all your details and you have to get approved by the auctioneer. So I've all been approved and everything. But yeah, I just want to see because I think buying houses at auction is a really good way to get a knockdown price sometimes. However, it comes with its own risks. Like lots of the times the auctioned properties are in a really bad state or there's uh, weird things in the contract, like, I don't know, in the deeds of the house or whatever. So you have to be careful. The property hunt is still going on and I'm ready to buy as soon as I find a place. It's just very hard at the moment because the mortgage rates are really high, which isn't a reason not to invest. Like I'm still going to invest, um, even though the mortgage rates are a lot higher. Um, but it just means you need to be careful with the deals, making sure that the deals actually work, like by the time you work out the rental value and things like that, because I'm not buying to flip properties, although I might do, I don't know. The plan at the moment is to buy it. It's called BRR, and some people add an extra R, which is buy, refurbish, refinance, and rent. Um, so yeah, that is what I want to do. I want to buy a house, refurbish it, refinance it, get a new mortgage deal on the higher value and then rent it out. So that is the goal. You guys will know as soon as I have um, done it because I'll vlog the whole thing. But um, yeah, at the moment, still no news. Right, back from the gym and look who's here. Come on, dogs. Come here. Ah, uh, Ava, yes. Good girly. Shall I take your colour off? There you go. Come here. Oh. We've had a, a reunion off camera, haven't we? Oh, I've missed you so much. Yeah, I have. I've missed you. I've missed you. I had nightmares about Ava when I was away that she, I had one dream where she, her paws were all swollen, her face was swollen, her eyeballs were gouged out. And I was like, Ava, what's wrong? And I like texted Amber to be like, is Ava okay? And Ben's obviously fine as well. But yeah, we've been reunited. We got a grocery shop delivered yesterday, I think, as I told you. But there was a few bits we forgot to do. So after the gym, we just called in at the supermarket. So we were a bit late back. And by the time we were back, Amber was here with the dogs. Oh, and the, he's still mating. Fen, she's your sister. We don't do that. I'm good boy. Good girl. Oh, no, Fen, stop. Right, Amber and Keegan have gone for a walk to have a... a, a business meeting because Amber works for Keegan um, and I'm gonna go for a walk now as well the dogs have already been walked by Amber earlier today so I'll let them rela relax and I'm gonna go for a walk and catch up on my voice notes because I like to descend and receive voice notes while I'm on a walk don't know why I like to be moving it's the next day guys and I'm actually just catching this auction you know the one yesterday I placed a bid for 15,000 I said it would go for tonight between 60 or 70 um, there's 10 seconds left on this auction and it's currently at 63, so let's see if it stays that way. Yeah, I think it is. It's sold for 63. So that is just a good bit of research for me, just to see, you know, it started at started at 10,000 uh, and it went for 63. Not all of them have that big jump. There was another one I was watching over here, which started at 60,000 opening bids 
um, and it sold for 74. So only 14,000 more than what it was listed for. So it doesn't always go that way. Sometimes they price them extra low just to get more interest, I suppose. Um, and most of them have reserves on them. Yeah, good bit of research there. My first auction that I've sort of attended the thing you have to be really careful is there's a legal pack which i click on and it's got all of the different paperwork that the owner has provided but with these auctions there's lots of extra fees uh buyers premiums like sometimes you have to pay the seller's solicitor's fees like all these things so usually like some of these ones i looked at there was an extra about six seven thousand pounds you had to pay in fees so you have to factor that in when you buy an auction i don't know whether buying an auction is the right thing for me lot especially some of these properties that i mean the first one i showed you didn't need any work doing necessarily um, so it'd be easy to get a mortgage on that another one I was looking at was in really bad condition so I'd have to get like a bridging loan rather than a loan from a bank a bank wouldn't loan me sort of a normal mortgage um, so I'd have to get a temporary loan to do that and I don't really want to do that for my first one at least I'd like to keep it as low risk as possible because there's no rush so I'm just gonna take it slow but anyway just thought I'd update you with that right guys this is their first walk back and they were actually very excited normally Ava's very excited and Fen is not that bothered and you have to force Fen to go for a walk he was right by the front door he was shaking with excitement I'm actually wearing Keegan's jacket which is very large on me it's like a dressing gown because <laughs> I couldn't find uh, a hoodie and that is the end of the vlog guys I can't believe I've been back from Florida for nearly a month now like it's crazy but I am glad because I've been filming a lot recently over the last month and my memory card is pretty much full and I've never had a full memory card in my life because this memory card is huge so I don't know how I've managed to fill it um, to give you a taster of what's to come I've filmed sort of a day out in Leeds I have filmed a redecorating video because Keegan and I have done some decorating in our bedroom and we're about to start work on our bathroom we're going to rip out the bathroom and put a new one in the new bathroom gets delivered tomorrow I've just gotten back from Marbella there's some Spanish Marbella vlogs coming soon like there's lots going on so that's why I have a lovely tan uh, I wish I could just be this color all year round anyway I am very brown anyway thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed if you're new here then hello welcome please click subscribe if you want to watch my videos when they come out and see them in your subscription box also if you'd like some bonus members only content this is mainly for people who aren't new here that have watched me for a while I mean anyone can sign up but I feel like it's people that have been watching me for a while and go, you know what? I want some more content from Joel. I do have a membership club, so consider becoming a member and you can get bonus members only videos for as little as $3.99 a month, which is less than a coffee. So I really advise it because it's really cool. We have a lot of fun over on my memberships page. That's enough of the parish notices. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.